What do you want? Don't be frightened. I just thought you might like a cup of hot tea on a sticky night like this. You know what they say. Nothing like a hot drink to cool you off. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just like you. Patch Jojo laid in. We all loved it. Oh, yeah? Well, I hate it. So dump it, Teddy. And no more surprises. You just blew my whole vocal. Your wish is my command. You look lovely, doll. Oh, don't smear me, Langley. You'll get your commission anyway. These publicity shots just came in. I thought you might like to take a look at him. I kind of like this one. Oh, nah, I look too old. This one's okay. It's my second choice. So how are we doing with Friday night's concert? Are the bleeping androids confirmed yet? It's gotta be right. Dead right. I think we ought to discuss it a little more. What's the talk about? I thought we did all the talking. Well, babe, you did all the talking. What I mean is, if you want to have a benefit concert, that's your business. But at least make sure they cover the cost. Hey, I'm the one up there working my butt off. What I say goes. It's my way or the doorway. Take it easy, love. How's it going to look to the press if I'm chintzy on my own first benefit? Not great. I got to hand it to you, babe. A benefit concert would really put you on the map. But why the homeless? Because I want to, okay? All right, all right. I'm sorry I brought it up. I just wanted to express my opinion. It's what you pay me for, right? Yeah, am I paying you? Seems like another act of charity. You dumped the truck, guy. Ready whenever you are. Lady Di? Oh, I have no problem with her. It's deafness I'm concerned with. Well, that's the only way to get the full effect. Are you acting like you're 60 or something? Since when did you become such an old bag? Hi, everybody. The old bag's here with your curtains. Oh, Birdie, you shouldn't have. Well, I wanted to. Now that you've all moved in here, I thought maybe it might spruce up the place a bit. I even hemmed and pressed them. It's... they're very nice. No doubt about it, the lady's toasted for Jack. Something tells me the feeling is not mutual. Looks like you need a little bailing out. What are you doing? 
you, or are you just uh, working on a protein drink? You mean for energy? Y yes, it, it uh, stimulates the flow of blood to the brain, which sharpens the uh, perceptual senses, and it's very healthy and organic. Well, pretty cool, Jack. Yes, but there's still some side effects I have to do some work on. Besides the protein stimulation, it seems to be having a mild aphrodisiac effect. Now you're onto something. If you can just get rid of the protein part, you'll be doing just fine, hmm? If you need a guinea pig, I'll be glad to try some. It doesn't look like that'll be necessary, Bertie. It looks like the rats are partying just fine. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to put you at risk, but thank you for the offer. Sure, I understand. That's disgusting. Here are your wood chips. You might as well let them fool around on something clean. Care for some coffee, Bertie? Oh, thanks. I'd love some. I was up all night. Oh, how come? There was another murder in the park. Young runaway. Couldn't have been much younger than you, poor sweet thing. One of your cases? I had to identify the body. It was awful. You'd think you've seen it all at my age, but it still gets to me. No family, no friends. Imagine dying and the only one who knows you is some social worker. Yeah, what happened to her? Oh, no one knows. The police won't say a thing. It's all very strange. She was strangled by a rope or something. The worst is, she's not the first. You mean there have been other stranglings? Yes, that's right. Didn't you have a case earlier this year? An elderly woman? Sarah? No, she wasn't strangled. She just disappeared. But I suppose anything's possible at this point. Why would someone want to kill a number of street people? Can't the police help? Quite frankly, I don't think they care. Nobody cares about the homeless. Lady Di does. She's giving a concert for him on Friday night. That's nice. But that's not going to stop whoever's the killer. Well, I don't see why they shouldn't treat everyone equally when it comes to a murder. Would it make any difference to you if Ryan and I spoke to the police? Maybe get some more information? Won't do any good. Who knows? The fear of the unknown is always worse than the actual thing. Not always. Female Caucasian, approximately 15 years. Brown hair, nasal passages clear, trauma to the skull. Cause of death appears to be asphyxiation due to strangulation from a foreign object. Lieutenant Fishbein. Yeah? We called your office, but they said you were here. We wanted to talk to you about the homeless deaths. We um, heard you were in charge of the investigation. You have uh, some information regarding the case? Uh, no, I, um... Well, we were just wondering why so many people are being murdered in our neighborhood. Oh, I love when you neighborhood watch people get involved. It gives you a chance to see just how impossible my job really is. What are you doing about the cases? What do you expect? We're not miracle workers. These people make perfect targets. For what? It's not like they have any money or anything. For sport. For drill. Somebody's taking target practice. With a rope? There are a lot of sickos out there. Dementos. That's just the way it is in uh, real life. But there were five murders in the park. Maybe it's not as random as it seems. Well, give the girl a hand. Uh, you wouldn't uh, exactly be planning on a career in uh, law enforcement. No, you see, unless someone comes forward and says something, or we get an eyewitness who sees something, there's not a whole hell of a lot we can do. What's this? Right here. This greenish stain on her neck. You still here? You work without any facts? You want facts? Mm -hmm. I'll give you facts. Fact one, whoever you two are, you're trespassing in a restricted area. Fact two, if you don't get the hell out of here in two seconds, you'll be behind bars inside an hour. Now, are there any other facts you care to know? Thank you for your time, Lieutenant. Yeah, thanks a lot.
There it is. Ah, Swapper's Ivy. I never heard of it. Oh, it doesn't exist anymore. At least I didn't think it did. Let me see. It was indigenous to Ireland, 13th, 14th century. It was an evil plant, or at least they thought it was. They thought they'd burned it all. Why do they call it Swapper's Ivy? Well, if you had it, you could use it to trade for whatever you wanted. Well, I don't see what Swapper's Ivy could possibly have to do with Uncle Lewis's antiques. Uh, don't you limit your thinking, my girl. It can be a part of absolutely anything, a part of an antique or a drawing, a painting, a picture, a tapestry, who knows what. Ah, Swapper's Ivy. A porcelain cup, no mark, white, with a hand-painted design of Swapper's Ivy around the rim. A teacup? Look, look, they sold it two years ago to a guy named Fat Eddie Burrell. Lives in Hillsdale. Looks like it's tea time. This is our only lead. After you. No, really, after you. <laughs> after you, you're the man. Don't push me. Let your imagination get out of hand. Look, nobody's lived here in a long time. Ryan, let's go. Guess they don't have to call him Fat Eddie anymore, huh? I don't want any pin spots. What color gels are they putting in those? Number 10 pink, like always. Make those gels number 10 pink! You look terrific, babe. Anyway, there's no audience tonight. I gotta go. What about the sound check? I don't need this grief. Whoa! What have we got here? Here. Better have a cinnamon bun, too. My wallet! Hey! Hey, you! It's really nice, isn't it? Would you like some tea? You look like you could use some. That sounds mighty good to me. Can I have some? No, this is just for grown-ups. Now run along. What a pretty bracelet. If you promise to leave, you can have it. OK. Now, 
Nothing like a good hot cup of tea, is there? I get a John Doe. Did you recognize the body? No, he's not one of mine, thank God. You wait here, I'll bring the car. You got some food? I'm sure we can find you some. Where's your mommy and daddy? You don't have a mommy or daddy, do you? Oh my goodness. What's wrong? That bracelet, where did you get that bracelet? My, that's Sarah Burrell's bracelet. Sarah who? Burrell, my missing person. Any relation to Fat Eddie? That's her brother. It's okay, we won't hurt you. I didn't steal it. Oh, nobody said you did. Now, where did you get it? This lady gives it to me. Sarah, what lady? The lady from last night. Do you remember what she looked like? She was pretty. With hair like fire. Oh, that's not Sarah. Sarah was over 70. Her hair was white as snow. Where was this lady, honey? Right here. She was giving a man something to drink. It was his cop. What man? The man who died. I think you better come with us, little girl. <laughs> What the? It's a horrible thing not to have anyone, not to be loved, no matter what your age. And on top of that, she witnessed a murder. She must be terrified. Did you get us a picture of that case of yours, Sarah Burrell? I have one in the files. Okay, all you Lady Die fans. Tonight, live from our downtown studio, the new Queen of Rock will tell us the inside story about her overnight success on the charts. Until later, here's a taste of what you'll get tomorrow night at a homemade benefit concert. Right. I'm a little deep, but you Hello. Hello. Could we have a little less music, please? Sorry, I thought Bertie'd have trouble here. Just because you're older doesn't mean you're deaf. What are you smiling at? Oh, nothing. It's just that Sarah were here, she'd be laughing at this song right now. Yeah, why is that? It's an old nursery rhyme she used to sing. It's one of her favorites. She had hair like fire. I can't believe what we're thinking. I mean, how can somebody so old become so young. It's possible, though. It's happened before. There's the legend of Archimedes, for example, wherein old age was exchanged for youth. Remember, we're dealing with Swapper's ivy. So how does the cup work? Well, perhaps the ivy acts as a conductor, you know, trading the victim's life force for the cup owner's age. Anybody home? Oh, hi, Bertie. We didn't hear you come in. Uh, is that a new dress? What do you think? It's unusual. Unusually pretty. What do you think, Jack? Oh, I, I think it's very, uh, uh, different. I was thinking we could go out and grab a bite or something. Yeah, no, I really would like to do that, uh, Bertie, but I'm awfully sorry. I'm, I'm right in the middle of the most crucial part of my experiment. In fact, I should be checking on it right now. Uh, maybe some other time, though. He's just shy, that's all. All men are shy around me. Sarah had the same problem. What are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing, just doodling. Oh, I guess we all get older sooner or later. Even Lady Di will. 
I think age is all in the mind. Too bad you need a young mind to think that way. Jack, coast is clear. I think Lady Di and Sarah are one and the same. I think it's time you paid Miss Di a visit. Absolutely. But how are we supposed to find her? I know a thousand fans would kill for that information, myself included. Don't you ever listen to the radio when it's on? Hmm? Lady Di is being interviewed on the David Kay Show tonight. Live. And I'll print you up the proper credentials. when I roll off my face. Tell us a little about tomorrow night's benefit. It certainly is the biggest rock benefit this city's ever seen. Well, David, I thought I'd do something for the homeless in this town. You know, bring a little warmth in their lives. Like the warmth my fans have given me. Now we're gonna have a little taste of the ladies' new CD, Dying for Love. Enjoy. You doing great, babe? Everything okay? Look a little tired. We're here to talk to you about Lady Di. We're sorry to barge in, but it's important we talk to you. What the hell is Security. this? Security. Yeah, that's not what you think. It's about Sarah. I don't know what you're talking about. Get these two out of here. Get off. 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 Get Guy looked a little older in person, don't you think? A lot older. That you went to the park. You got keys? No, no, no. I'll, I'll drive. No, no. I'll drive. No, really. I'll drive. Really. No. No. I'm the chauffeur. No, no. The only reason I let you drive is because you look better in the uniform. Chauvinist. think about it, the worse it's going to be. Look, I can't help it. No matter how many times we do this, I can't believe the impossible as quickly as you. 
Believe it, Lady Di is Sarah, the old lady. Why else would she run when we mentioned the cup? So, she's killed at least half a dozen people in this very park. And she's gonna keep on killing to stay young. Or to keep us from getting it back. Look, we've got until tomorrow night's concert, that's it. After that, she starts her tour. Well, that doesn't give us very much time. Brian! Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Look, Lady Di might not have come here after all. The last two murders were here. Why would she go somewhere else? Let's hope she thinks the same way we do. We've got to stop her. Teacup really belonged to us? No way. I didn't think so. Would you believe me if I promised to trade you that cup for a hot meal, a real bed, and a cup that's almost as pretty? Please. Are you kidding? You're looking at the potato chip king. We got barbecue, salt and vinegar, sour cream and onion. with Kristen here. Are there any clean sheets upstairs? Oh, there sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I'm starving. Where are those potato chips? In your room, probably. Okay. Let's see what we get 
the bed all comfortable for you. Turn it back. And I'm going to sleep with my rabbit. Who ate all the chips? I think it was one of your friends. Oh, charming. Right where we cut the bread. <sighs> If I whip up one of my famous tuna casseroles. Ooh, how does that sound to you? It's a casserole. Well, in this particular case, I'm not sure you want to know. Mickey Jack! Hold on! Quiet, all right? Yeah. Coffee, come. What? Uh -oh. <gasps> Take me to the park. <sighs> Somebody took the teacup. I'm afraid so. Does that mean I won't be able to live here anymore? Kristen, I don't think this would be a very good place for you to live anyway. But that doesn't mean that you can't stay here for a while. It's just, we'll find you a home. A good home. I promise. Excuse me. Would you like to join me for a nightcap? It's lonely out here sometimes, doesn't it? Gets lonely no matter where you are. No! No. Let's be civilized. See who's an old fool. Used to happiness and health. to have been Lady Di you saw. Well, I just can't believe it was her under that stocking. Why not? Because she moves slow, like she was Bertie's age or something. 
Perhaps the longer she goes without using the cup to make swaps, the more she ages. Exactly. So it was Sarah you were looking at, not Di. And as for her moving slowly, I'd check your own speed, Mr. Out of Shape. Maybe she wouldn't have gotten away. Hey, 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 don't lay this off on me. Why don't you vault the cup? <laughs> because I was putting Kristen to bed, not rushing to yeah, feed yeah, my yeah. face. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 time. Take it easy. We're all getting a little worn down. Let's try to think this out rationally. All right, let's assume that it was Lady Di, a.k.a. Sarah, who paid us the visit. What else do we know? Well, she has a concert in less than 24 hours. It's the start of her first North American tour. And there's something else you can be pretty sure of. If we don't get to her, she'll have killed again. Well, I better be starting my rounds now. The bagel shop ought to be tossing out a few rejects. Thanks for talking to me all night. I needed the company. My pleasure. Hey, you're pretty cool for an old lady. I guess it's because I don't feel like one anymore. <laughs> something of yours that I'd like to return. I told her to stay put until we got here. Damn it! She kind of gone far. Let's each take a pass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. Let me guess. You've been framed. Cuff him. We didn't do this. She's alive. Radio the paramedics. Listen to me. We have a pretty good idea who did do it. It was Lady Di, the singer. And she's probably still here in the park. She's going to kill again. Sure she is. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. sound like you. You haven't canceled the show, have you? I was just about to. Where the hell are you? None of your business. Relax. I'll make it to the concert. What is going on? I'll tell you later. Just don't cancel the show. She's our friend. You're making a big mistake. Yeah, well, you better hope your friend is able to prove me wrong.
Pardon me. Young man, mm. would you care for a nice cup of tea on this fine morning? Hey, yeah, sure, lady. I'm sorry. This doesn't belong to you. No! 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 Ten after. They want you, babe. Don't come in. Okay, okay. I'll be out in a second. We're gonna have to try to steal her when she goes on stage. Mickey. Don't have to do anything. I've got my cap. How's she gonna perform? What's going on here? Time. It's so time. Jack, did you work the bugs out of this? Actually, bugs are what I put into it. What do you mean? Well, I've substituted dehydrated insects for the ginseng. It gives me a higher concentration of protein. The look, no more nymphomania, double the energy. This experiment went terribly wrong. <laughs> oh, we are in the presence of royalty. I don't know. I think potato chips are way below your standards now. No way. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Bertie, you look wonderful. You look like a little princess. Do you know that? You haven't changed your mind, have you? Of course not, silly. Do you want to play tea party? <laughs> <laughs>